All right, this is the center grill section off of a 1965 Buick LeSabre 400 Wildcat car. Wildcat by meaning that it had a Wildcat 355 engine. It's a four-door car, but I think the grills are all the same. 1965 Buick LeSabre 400 car. This is the center section of the grill. I properly removed it with extra care. This thing's pretty heavy. And it's one solid piece. I think a lot of people don't realize that the grill comes apart in multiple sections. So this is a big, heavy, cast, simple piece. It is not broken, it is original. I didn't even clean it. This car has been sitting since 1971 when it was parked due to a mild wreck in Atlanta, Georgia. Slow speed wreck. Seems as though, I'll just start with. Seems as though the car was wrecked in Atlanta, Georgia in 1971. Like it kind of spun out or something because it was the front passenger fender and the rear end of the car that was damaged. So, anyway, I haven't even cleaned it. It's very dirty, but very good condition. Very heavy, very solid. It's got a spider web on the end. Not broken. Removed with care. Solid. So, this item is for sale. I accept PayPal or Cash App. PayPal or Cash App. My email is privateseller007 at gmail.com. Privateseller007 at gmail.com. Oh, that's, that's a piece of rubber. I guess so it won't vibrate. PrivateSeller007 at gmail.com. Don't use the letters 007. Use the numbers 007 at gmail.com. PrivateSeller at gmail.com. PrivateSeller007 at gmail.com. Excuse me. And I am located in Northeast Georgia on the border of North Carolina and Tennessee. My county touches both states. And I'm not far from South Carolina. I'm two hours from Atlanta, two hours from Asheville, North Carolina, two hours from Chattanooga, Tennessee, two and a hours and 15 minutes from Knoxville, and two hours from Clemson, or uh, Greenville, South Carolina. And Clemson, Clemson University is 70 miles from here. And close to St. Hill in North Carolina and close to Hell in Georgia. German, Swiss, Bavarian, Alpine town, tourist town. You know, I'm parting the whole car out. I have a 1965 Buick Sabre 400 with a 355 Wildcat V8 engine with the switch pitch turbo 400, early turbo 400 transmission. That's the torque converter that has variable blades that do this to take off faster based on the throttle linkage of the car. I'm selling every single piece of the car, every piece off of it. I have the rare four barrel intake, the only intake available for the 300 cubic inch V8 Buick engine. I am disassembling the engine. I have the intake for sale and all the other parts. I will be listing this on www.ebid.net ebid.net which is just like ebay and it is as old as ebay uh, 1999 is when it was started and ebid works just like ebay except it's better it's old fashioned it uses paypal or you can just simply pay me through cash app but the normal system it uses is paypal or you can just do it direct might be send me a message or we won't even use eBay. But I may also put it on eBay, but I'd rather sell it on eBay or just person to person 
as I don't like eBay as much as I do eBid. Don't be scared to use an eBid. It is trusted. It's been around a long time. All you have to do is, well, probably nothing. Just log in, pay with PayPal, but it's a trusted website. And as far as shipping, I have not calculated shipping yet. This thing's heavy and long. It'll require a custom box. And it has an arch shape to it. So it'll be a large box and it'll be heavy. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If I may want you to pay me for the item first, and then I'll take it to my nearest shipping center, one of those stores that does boxes, and see what they'll charge to box this up and send it to you. And those stores usually broker or have a way of searching multiple platforms of shipping, such as FedEx, UPS, U.S. Postal Service, DHL, and they get a cheaper price than we do. So, and the guy may charge a fee to box it with foam, but I can take it to him after you purchase it. I don't want to take it unless you buy it from me because it's a wasted trip. I will get a quote and all the shipping options for you and I'll just tell you exactly what it cost for that guy to box it and what the prices are. And you can reimburse me through Cash App or PayPal. So you buy this first and then I'll take it. I may also try to come up with a basic formula for shipping on the eBid site when I do some measurements and weights. So it's going to be one way or the other or whichever one you prefer. If I have to custom make a box for this, it's going to be more aggravating if that professional guy does it who has the box gluing and stapling and cutting machine. Anyway, I would prefer him do it because he's a professional. Maybe he's got insurance. But anyway, here is the rare center chrome grill piece. Okay? PrivateSeller007 at gmail.com look for this on ebed.net not com dot net i may put it on ebay but i prefer ebed try to buy it on there or just directly message me thanks